Hello everybody, it's Peter of England here with his calculator in his hand this time um, giving you an update on um, things we touched on in the last video um, which was the Weir Bank update warning people that this is a, a sort of a heads up as you might say for what we may describe as um, an imminent, inevitable, global economic um, catastrophe, meltdown, uh, engineered, orchestrated um, end to a financial system which had the United States dollar as the global reserve currency. Now, the powers that were, the powers that be, the new world order, the banksters, whatever you wish to call them, in the form of um, the exchange stabilization fund being run out of the Federal, um, the Federal Reserve in New York, along with the Bank of England, the Bank for International Settlements, the World Bank, European Central Bank, um, all mafia heads under the same, um, um, should we say, general control of uh, the cartel, um, they have had a deliberate policy to engineer um, global financial markets. Now, on the 25th of December um, 2012, the 100-year long um, contract uh, that was signed on Jekyll Island in the United States on Christmas Eve uh, 1912, which brought just before the Federal Reserve Act was brought into uh, uh, law, gave the banking families, the Morgans, the Del Bancos, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, etc., um, uh, control over these financial interests for a 100 year period. Now, it's not a coincidence that with a 100 year uh, expiry now on that contract certain things are developing and developing radically. Now we can see that the amount of money that has been pumped into global financial markets by the Federal Reserve and the secret banking uh, slush funds is now way out of um, any sort of logic or reason or balance that might have previously been accepted as justifiable or mathematically uh, possible. Um, for example, the United States is in a state of shutdown at the moment because Congress are refusing, supposedly, to increase the, or raise the debt ceiling that Mr. Obama says we need. Now, for maybe uh, 50 to 100 occasions in the past when this debt ceiling has been raised, the debt levels have always followed and lifted up to touch the ceiling. Though President Obama would have you believe at the moment, quote, that the raising of the debt ceiling does not mean an increase in levels of debt. No, no more than saying buying a car doesn't mean the person's going to be driving it. Why do you buy a car unless you're going to sit in it and drive it? Okay, so let's see how much money we're talking about here because it's quite important because We A Bank has been given access to a quantitative easing package that will help individuals who wish to join We A Bank um, with their, shall we say, financial predicament in the coming, uh, coming months. Now, at the moment, the United States Federal Reserve is pumping $86 billion per month into the global markets. This comes to about $2.8 billion per day. That's a lot of money. The total United States debt at the moment is around about 17 trillion. How much is a trillion? Okay, let's imagine a period from today going back to the birth of Christ. We'll say argumentatively 2,000 years ago. If from that point in time to today you had tried to or spent one million pounds a day, you still would not have achieved one trillion. On your calculator, that would be 1.0 e to the 12. So that's one with 12 zeros after it. And the people like Ben Bernanke and uh, here the crowd would have you now in the following one year, 
12 months have your debt ceiling globally raised to the tune of 1 trillion. And that's roughly what um, 86 billion a month is going to cost. So we've dealt about, covered that, so we see that the banking sector is going to take a fall. Now, one way or the other, the banking system, the financial system globally is going to tumble. It's a mathematical certainty. They can't outrun the numbers. Before things were different in the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the borrowing rates, the borrowing amounts weren't there. Some countries were in uh, a state of, uh, of positive uh, balance accounting. But now the United States is not in such a position. And so what's happened with the amount of money that it's owed, uh, so that is, yeah, that it owes because of other people who've taken out United States Treasury bonds, um, the amount of interest that's accruing on those bonds and on those liabilities globally is becoming so astronomical that the printing presses can't even keep up with the interest that needs to be paid, let alone the capital. So if you can't either pay principal or capital, you're bankrupt. The United States and the global economies are bankrupt and have been for some considerable time, but now the music is catching up with the chairs. So, the United States is presently closed down. 800,000 individuals, uh, public sector employees, are s either sent home or not receiving or guaranteed to receive payments until Congress votes an increase in the ceiling, uh, debt ceiling. Um, it's our opinion, and it's my opinion, that what's happening here is this is the thin end of the wedge and things are going to get worse and worse on this one, not better and better. We know in the past, Congress has come to the rescue at the last moment and the debt ceiling or the budget has always been renegotiated. This time it's different. The plan for the de uh, destabilization of the United States, Western Europe and the major uh, supposedly democratic um, uh, countries is, is underway. And what they are looking to do, the global establishment, if they can, is to introduce a form of communism, the same to an extent that they've introduced in Russia uh, and in China and in many other parts of the world. Don't forget, communism is not a, uh, a natural phenomenon in places like in China or in the Soviet Union. Both of these viral type political regimes were imported and forced upon the people following the, uh, the uh, end of the Second World War. Um, and this is the plan. One of the greatest uh, comments ever was by Nelson Rockefeller who said, our friend Chairman Mao has successfully achieved one of the greatest social experiments ever thought up by us. So, that's, uh, I'm going to keep this uh, now... Uh, bring it to a close. Uh, we'll give you more updates uh, as and when they come. But the global situation at the moment is, our opinion is that the, the economic system and the financial systems are due to be run down and probably when they go, they'll go quickly. So thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe. Peter of England signing off.